right, how's it going? Well, we've had a wee peek already at the airbrush and wash pot, but there's something about the name airbrush makes you think, we need some air, because so far we've only got half the story. So I'm going to have a wee look at today the WADA Studio Series Smart Jet Plus Compressor, because it really is an important part if you're going to be airbrushing, you need that compressor. So let's have a wee think. What are you looking for in your compressor? Well, generally we'll be using it in our homes as part of our hobbies. So we need it to be quite a few different things. We want it to be efficient. We want it to be quiet so we can use it while others are around. We definitely want things to be powerful. You know, we, it's, it's a fact of this hobby. We like our power things. We need it to be reliable so we know that we can go back to it time after time. And because our hobby has so many different bits and pieces throughout it, we need it to be versatile. And because most of us are working on limited workspaces, we need it to be compact. So, I'm going to go and have a wee closer look. Back in a second. Right guys, let's take a look at her. Um, now, I know an air compressor is a functional piece of equipment, but design is important in whatever we buy. And personally, I think this is kind of pretty. There's lots of nice shiny bits on it. There's lots of pretty pieces on it. And there's some really, really clever design features. On that point of a design feature, let's take a look there. That's a tanked compressor. Can you see where the tank is? Can you? Have we a look and see what you think. Now, how about I tell you that the tank is the handle? Now, how many of you got that? Put your hands up. Three of you. I suppose that's not too bad. It's an exceptionally well-hidden little piece of tank there. So, guys, what do you make of that? There's a lot of good points to that. But let's first of all discuss why we want a tank in our compressors. Well, to do that you need to know what the, the other options are. And when it comes down to air cans, which is generally a first option, I'm begging you, please just don't go there. Please, you will spend your life paying for cans that you're throwing away. It's just, it's just not an option. I, you know, please, just don't do it. <laughs> Simple as. So, you can also go for tankless compressors, and they're a good option for many, but they can be noisier, they can have lower operating times, and they can be harder to look after and higher maintenance. And in low quality compressors, you can even get really quite uneven air pressure with major dropouts. And also, you have a bigger risk of water coming through your system onto your models. So your other option is to go with a tank compressor. And tanks in general are more efficient with your power usage. They have a more steady airflow. They have pressure from the moment you depress your finger on the trigger at the level you need. There's no pressure dropout over prolonged spraying. And there's less water through your system. There's also other benefits that you have longer operating times generally because your compressor's not running constantly while you're using it and therefore you have a longer compressor life. So in this tank specifically, as you can see, it has a beautifully compact design, a really very small footprint. It basically doesn't take up very much more than a standard tankless compressor. So that's exceptionally useful when we are working on limited workspaces. Um, it has a really useful size tank without being too large. It's a 450cc tank, which is just under a pint, so it's uh, absolutely perfect for keeping pressures even with. Um, it has a very wide operating pressure, which is it'll run from 0 to 60 psi, so that covers absolutely everything we could possibly want for our hobby work. Um, we generally use about 10 PSI for detail work, right through to 40 PSI for base coat and things and for larger scale models and miniatures. 
So it certainly does absolutely everything we'd want on that side. And also it has an auto cut off so your tank pressure stays even. Um, it's basically your tank will fill to 60 PSI when you switch it on. And uh, when the pressure drops down to 40 PSI the motor will kick back in to knock it back up. Once it gets back to 60 PSI that cuts the motor off again. So you're not wasting power or energy on continually running a motor or so guys let's get in and have a wee close-up look at the air control systems in this compressor first of all we've got our nice easy to access pressure release valve also when you switch her back on her tank fills up really quickly and if you see here you can see the needle very clearly on your on your pressure gauge, which is beautifully easy to read and nice and crisp and clear. So we've also got a solid metal construction round about the regulator system. One, we've got a really easy to operate regulator, which gives you fine control over your air pressures. We've got our moisture trap, which is yet again, as I say, solid metal roundabout, which is nice and secure feeling but with a nice easy to see window because sometimes on ones that are just plain glass it's very hard to see where the liquid actually is in them so this has a nice window system so you can easily see a level as to when it needs emptied so you also have with this an exceptionally high airflow it, uh, the airflow is actually about 23 litres per minute in it and that's, that's quite impressive when you consider that some other compressors run at about a third of that you know from about 9 litres per minute upwards to about 12 litres per minute. So you really have got the airflow to cope with absolutely everything you'd want to do. So guys, we've already said that quietness is an important feature we'd be looking for in a compressor for our own home. Now, I can tell you that this compressor operates at a volume of 54 decibels. Now that in itself might mean an awful lot, but if I tell you that normal conversation occurs between 60 and 65 decibels and whispering in a quiet library takes place around 30 decibels, that maybe gives you a better idea. Because that means if you're able to talk in your own home, you're able to use your compressor. And for us, it means that we can still shoot vid for you and still talk as we do it and not have to do voiceovers after the fact. So you get to see and hear things as they actually happen. So we've said this is a powerful compressor with a high airflow, but let's just clarify how powerful. With the addition of a small part, which is pretty inexpensive, you can operate two airbrushes concurrently off this air compressor. That's quite impressive. It's two detail range airbrushes can be run from this. You both using them at the same time if there's two of you or you hopping quite happily back and forward between two connected brushes. Now when I mean two detail range brushes I mean something like a custom micron and an HPC or a revolution or an eclipse or a comparable type of brush it won't work with two big spray guns but with those detail level brushes that we use for our hobby you can run two of them off it with that small part I think that's quite impressive the other thing is is that all the water parts are easily accessible and they have service centres that dotted around the place you can access to have your compressor regularly serviced. And yet again, with every good piece of equipment, if you look after it, it'll look after you. So guys, taking absolutely all of that into account, this is a highly efficient compressor due to smart jet technology and all its auto shutoffs. It's exceptionally quiet running. It carries a real punch on the power level with its high airflow and sustainable pressures. It's an Iwata. That in itself tells you it's reliable, but it's also highly serviceable. And it's completely versatile. And it copes with a huge range of air pressures, 
even even two brushes if you want. Really compact, has a very small footprint in your workspace. So all in all that makes it really fantastic all round piece of equipment. That's why I chose it. Think if you're looking for a compressor in our hobby, you cannot go wrong by buying this one. Hope this helps you out guys.